Microsoft Visual C Sharp. To begin, click on File, New Project. Select the Windows Application tab and type in the name of your project. I'm going to be typing this. Then press OK to continue. You'll start to load up your project. Once you see the small window, enlarge it to make it a little bit bigger as it will be holding our web browser contents in. Find the web browsing control on the toolbox. It should look like this and drag it onto your web form. If you see nothing there after you dragged it, you should see a small arrow up here. Right click on the arrow and click on undock in parent container. This should make a small box. This is your web browser. The web browser is actually just IE, Internet Explorer, embedded into your application. Enlarge it to this big, just to cover the window. You should leave a little bit of space at the top. This is where navigation buttons are going to go. Find the button controls and drag two on there. Then find the text box control. This will be our URL bar. Well, these two buttons are the back and forward buttons. Go to the button control again and put another one after the URL bar. This will be the go button. Click on the first button and go to properties. You should see that if you should find the value text and edit it to back. Then press enter. Then click on the second button, find the value text, and then type in forward. This will be your forward button. Then click on button three, find text, and change it to go. This is a simple design, it doesn't have all the features of an actual web browser, but this is a very simple design for it. Now you have to put in the backbone of the application, which is the programming that will actually make the application work. Double click on the back button, and it will bring you to the programming window. Now we have to type in the pro programming code that will make the web browser move back na or navigate backwards when you press this button. The code is web browser one dot go back. Open parentheses and close parentheses and then end it with a semicolon. Then you go back to the design and double click on the forward button. Once again type in flip web browser one dot instead of going to go back this time we will go to go forward right here. And then do the open parentheses and close parentheses. And end it with a semicolon. You now have the forward and back button ready. Click on the go button and over each a development environment again. For this you want to get the text box value which is, the name is, will be up here, text box one You want to get its value and put the value as a URL into the web browser, which is right here. The web browser is Internet for as I said. So you would go to, you would type in the code, web browser one dot navigate. Instead of typing in a string, as it says, you want to put in the var variable that ch the text box will return. This will be text box one dot text. This will return the string of text that's inside the box. In this case, it's the URL. So we want to navigate to the URL. Close parentheses and end with a semicolon. Now that we have this done, you want to go to the properties of the web browser 
and got a script error suppressed. You want to set this to true. Lastly, go to the top of your form window, click on the title bar, and then go to properties. Go to text and rename it to web ref. Now you have a working web browser. It is now time to test this application out. You want to click on the green execution arrow at the top. It will then open up your application. This is the web browser. You can type in the URL to any type of site. In this case, we will be navigating to google.com.